Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nurfatia binti Hairunizam and I'm one of the member group one O O P S. So we are from uh, section zero five, and our project is can cakes and coffee vending machine. Okay, so I would like to tell about project progress record. We started uh, the project by discussing on the 21st April 2022. We, we chose what kind of project we want to do and we decided uh, with vending machine as our mini project and divide the task to every team members. Um, and then uh, 22nd April, we present and explain about uh, the object class, proceed with the proposal. We send the proposal on the 22nd. 23rd, we double checking the proposal submit proposal. And 13 May, we focus on this designed, designing the interface of vending machine and some function variable. Meanwhile, in 18, we update the progress in the slide PowerPoint. We present, and then the next day, we present our progress to the lecturer and to get feedback. 29th May, 29 May, we proceed with the pixel drawing of the canned coffees and cakes using a Photoshop and the process was lasted until 28 June and the last thing is we should compile and edit the video. Okay, next is the description of the project. Okay, so for uh, so far, our project is actually we wanted to create a vending machine that contain cakes and coffees with high quality quality. Um, actually, it's very common to have a vending machine around our campus, but we we some we want something that new and um, easy to eat too. So uh, we decided to do a vending machine. The vending machine that contain cakes and coffee. Uh, other than that, uh, it also contain a special special function where buyers can bought many items and only paid once. Um, uh, for normal normal, uh, I mean like common common vending machine, uh, you need to pay one by one. It means you need to purchase one and then you will receive a one item. And then next, it same goes like that. But this 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 project in this project, uh, project, uh, we try to do something new by um, making the vending machine is out of a the ordinary, yep. and then uh, consumers able to enjoy many flavors and the cakes and coffees they want. Okay, so the objective, uh, the objective is to improve the vending machine system by adding a new method so users can purchase more than one item, and next is provide cakes and coffee to relieve stress and to fill the empty stomach after a long day. And then uh, provide an easier way for users to purchase high quality cakes and coffees. Uh, since cakes and coffees is really rare to search here. So I think uh, these are our objectives that we are believe could achieved by doing the project. Assalamualaikum and good day. I'm Naziha bin Dikcerati. I will explain about the UML class diagram for this vending machine. As you can see, there are 10 classes that exist in the vending machine system. So first, this vending machine is the main class for this system. And then next, we go to stock class. As you can see, this is the composition. And next, we have cake and coffee. As you can see, cake and coffee inherit the stock class. And then that original uh, latte, mocha, and cappuccino inherit the coffee class. Whereas royal and fluffy inherit the cake class. So total, we have eight inheritance. Here also have polymorphism relationship, cake and coffee. And then uh, royal and fluffy original latte mocha and cappuccino so there are three polymorphism where child with the same parent uh, that's all for this uh, class diagram all right so now we will be uh, explaining the op concepts 
In our project, there will be four OP concepts used. Abstraction, inheritance, polymorphism, and composition. Let's say, take a look uh, one by one. Abstraction is used in the parent class talk, where uh, if you see here, there's multiple um, children for the parent class. So there's a class cake, and a class for you is uh, an extension of class cake. So let me close that for now. Oh, there. And then class coffee. Class coffee and class cake both extend stock. And hence, they need a special function if we need to call from the stock class. In, uh, say like if in the revenue machine, you can see that uh, it uses the class stock EL. However, since we want to get the child's function, therefore, we need to abstract the class stock. And then, the, the children's function can be called inside here. So here, you can see in the class kit is set type, set main ingredient, get time, get main ingredient. And coffee is set flavor, set brand, get flavor, get brand. So if you can see in the um, kit class, here you can see, here here's the get type and get main ingredient and potato is set type and set main ingredient. Right, so that's for extraction. Now inheritance and polymorphism, as you can see before, I already uh, explained. Uh, kick extends stock, okay, so it inherits every, every variable and every function. So you can get name and get the variables uh, name here, both inside of kick, all right? So that's inheritance and for polymorphism, since class cake extends class stock and class coffee extends class stock, both have the same parent. So um, in that sense, cake and coffee both are polymorphisms for stock and Royal and Fluffy is a polymorphism for cake because they both have the same parent and original latte, mocha and cappuccino, all four of these extend coffee. So they all, of, all four of these are polymorphisms. And lastly is composition, as I explained before, vending machine has a uh, stock array list and card array list. These are created inside of the vending machine itself, okay, the class of vending machine itself, where um, I ran a, a run a function that says here load stock, it will read the file and create the object itself, okay. So even if the class is deleted, the object is deleted, the actual value and data is not actually uh, deleted. So they can, ex they technically they, uh, they don't disappear the data. However, if say I delete the class vending machine, the stock will also get deleted in, uh, in relation. All right, then uh, there's the functions, okay? Method use. In the machine, there's multiple functions that is implemented. So these are the variables, okay? All of these are globalized uh, instance variables where every function can call the variables, right? And then um, here, there's a default constructor. When I create the vending machine, it will do the stop. And then load GUI. This is what will display the window frame. And then save the stop, where if I close the program, it will update uh, the stop into the latest stop. So, or whenever I do a purchase, it will also save the stop. And then load stop is where when you start the program, it will get all the text file data and turn it into an object uh, and store it in stock and release. And then refresh card table is where you check the card table and set it to the new values. Uh, refresh selected table is for when you click a uh, ID, so specific item and you want to update that table. And then refresh select buttons is where I shoot or show um, the button color green or red, depending on if there's a stop or not. And then initialize stop buffer is where I want to set up a buffer so that uh, whenever the user takes out the item from below, it will then update, right? And then lastly, update stop buffer. So this is in extension to initialization. This is just starting first, right? And then lastly, the main function will call the load GUI and uh, the constructor before starting. And then lastly is the stop. Okay, there's class top here. You can see abstract class top. There's the variable. Okay, the important variables are the ID, the name, the price, and quantity. This must exist in all of the child classes so that the program can function. And then uh, if default constructor where everything is nullified, uh, set to null. Parameterized constructor where you need four variables. And copy constructor where you copy the variables to the right. right? And then the accessor, the mutator, and then some basic functionalities like reduce quantity by one, increase free quantity in case when the user wants to return an item and this is for purchasing an item. And then the extraction like I said before and uh, non debugging, so like to stream, right? And then uh, under, uh, inside of uh, the same file, there's also class cake where the only extras are the type meaning grid and its accessible data. 
And for class coffee, it's uh, free membrane instead. So as a simulator. But uh, apart from that, every of the children are basically easy. So that is all. Thank you. Now I will do a demo for this vending machine system. Firstly, as a first time user, user can click the instruction on how to use the vending machine. There are two instructions here. One for single and another one for multi. Single here means uh, purchase only one item and multi means purchase more than one item. So here user can select item and then insert money and confirm pay. For multi also the same step but they have one more step which is add button to purchase one more item. So here uh, user can click on the picture to see the product detail such as brand, name, flavor, price and also the stock left. For example, user want to purchase a uh, Nescafe Latte and click add button and purchase Fluffy Lemon and click add button. If user want to cancel the previous item, user can click delete button. So the total price here is two ringgit twenty cent. Uh, user can insert money, let's say five ringgit, and click confirm. It says that uh, your item has been dispensed. So user can push the button to pick up their item. And lastly, user can click the change button to get the return money. So uh, that's all for our presentation. And thank you for watching our video.